Many of us know someone who has suffered from depression. Yet, the continuing stigma associated with mental health problems in many parts of the world means that the scale of the problem and its impact often lie just beneath the surface. While the world remains haunted by multiple violent conflicts and other health concerns, high rates of depression continue to put growing pressure on workplaces and government health budgets around the world. Around 350 million people live with depression globally, according to the World Health Organization. Their 2080 World Mental Health Survey of 17 countries found that 1 in 20 people on average reported an episode of depression in the previous year. The disease tends to take hold of its victims when they are young and women are often disproportionately affected, in many cases after childbirth, leading to further collateral damage as it impacts the growth and development of a new generation. The economic and social effects of high levels of global depression are wide-ranging. On its most serious form, depression leads to a dramatic forced stalling of human potential. There are more than 800,000 suicides per year, according to the WHO's first global report on suicide prevention. People with severe mental illnesses, including acute depression, have a life expectancy that is 20 years shorter, on average, than that of the general population. Moreover, depression has a major impact on people during their most productive years. The OECD says that 5% of the working age population is affected by a severe mental health condition and a further 15% by a more common one such as depression or anxiety. And that the direct and indirect costs of mental health problems can be in excess of 4% of the GDP. In the US, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say that around 80% of people with depression report some level of functional impairment due to their condition, and 27% report serious difficulties in work and home life. The disease is estimated to cause 200 million lost work days each year in the US, costing employers between $17 and $44 billion annually. Reliable treatments for depression exist, including antidepressant medication, cognitive behavioral therapy, and other forms of psychotherapy. Yet, according to the WHO, fewer than half of those affected globally are receiving treatment. A recent study by the Economist Intelligent Unit ranked European countries by their ability to provide support for people dealing with mental illnesses. And even the best ranked countries in the list like Germany and the UK still can provide support for at least half of the population affected by depression and anxiety. As the threat to public health from high rates of depression continues to rise, more education about depression in places where it still stigmatizes is vital. The first step is to widely support commitment to change. Once that is in place, progress may be slow, but it will happen.